We've heard attorneys scream in open court, it can never be self-defense to shoot an unarmed man. And it appalls me that people can get through three years of law school and pass a bar exam and be entrusted to run high-profile homicide cases without understanding that concept. Disparity of force when you're up against the ostensibly unarmed man means that your attacker's physical abilities are so much greater than yours that if the attack continues, it's likely to cause death or great bodily harm, which is, of course, deadly force. The most obvious elements of that might be multiple assailants. Uh, it's only in a Bruce Lee movie that one of you is going to be able to take out three or four people with your bare hands. In real life, the likelihood of you being killed or crippled in a gang assault is so great that it warrants your recourse to a per se deadly weapon such as this pistol.